You mentioned you go to a lot of panels, mm -hmm. and you, you see this phenomenon that happens to a lot of experts and stars, yeah. that they get sort of bum-rushed yeah. by people, mm -hmm. hey, can you help me? Can you, can yeah. you do this? Yeah. What's your take on Yeah, I have a major pet peeve with that. <laughs> Um, I go, I go to a lot, uh, not so much panels, but I go to a lot of Q and A's. Um, again, one of the blessings of being in LA, actually, uh, lots of Q and A's with directors and filmmakers and stuff after the film. Um, and again, it's like these people are just absolutely um, mobbed, you know. And I'm just sitting there in the in the seat, and I'm I'm just thinking like, you fools, you know, you fools. Why? First and foremost, the person just shared what's worth sharing, number one. Number two, and most importantly, this person cannot help you. Like you nobody filmmaker, you know? Now you guys film Courage going up to someone, you have something in place. You have, you have an operation. You have something that they can include themselves in and engage in. You have something, but the person with a script the actor with a pretty face, the, um, the, the filmmaker with an idea, you're worth nothing to these people professionally, professionally, nothing. Most of the time socially too, you're worth nothing. You're wasting your time. You're wasting their time. You look like a fool. I went to a Q&A at the Egyptian Theater in Hollywood, one of my favorite theaters. Uh, I went to Q&A there, Werner Herzog was there. Oh my God. Gosh, you should have seen the mob around this guy in the lobby, okay? You, it, was, it was scary. It was like the Beatles, okay? Werner Herzog. But I'll never forget this. I'll never forget this. I was on the periphery, you know, because you have to exit, you know? I was leaving. There was this guy. He, he must have been about 22 years old. He was in front of Werner Herzog. He made his way up, you know? Um, and he said, I'll do anything. He goes, just, I'll do whatever you want on your set. I just want to be there, you know, watching you, learning from you. <laughs> and Werner Herzog is a really nice man. It's, it's evident in his films and what I've seen of him in person. I don't even remember what the poor guy said, you know. In fact, Werner Herzog has something called the Rogue Film School, I think. You could actually take classes with him. What I would have told that guy, if I was Werner Herzog, was here's my card. Make an original film, not something you made 10 years ago. Make an original film, email it to me. You know, number one. Number two, and this is what I'm even more passionate about with this phenomenon, as these people bum rush the celebrity that can't do anything for them, they are leaving behind the people that can do something for them. Me, the fellow nobody filmmaker that knows how to operate a boom pole, knows a good decent amount of talented actors, that has an old but good camera. I can help you. Rather than go up to Werner Herzog, why don't you turn to your left, talk to me, and say, hey, how's it going, man? Are you a Werner Herzog fan? What do you do, filmmaker? Oh, cool, man. Do you have a card? Cool, check out your movies. Dialogue. That's the tragedy in the mob mentality. <laughs> well, most people want, and I forget where I heard this, the helicopter ride to success. Yeah. They want to have to put in the sweat yeah. equity. Mm -hmm. Whereas it seems like you're willing to do that. You're willing to write posts. I yeah. can't tell you how many people aren't willing to write that. Yeah. They want just the easy way out. Yeah. What yeah. do you say to that? It's foolish, you know, and unfortunately, not, I don't know why I said unfortunately, but uh, for some bizarre reason, I've talked to some of my friends about this and we can't quite figure it out, um, but for some bizarre reason, people with that mindset are prone to pursue entertainment type stuff. It's, I don't know why, because you don't see that helicopter to success type mentality. I didn't see it in law school. I can't imagine someone in medicine thinking that or accounting or even entrepreneurial business. M most everyone starting a business knows it takes at least five years to turn a profit or whatever the statistics are. But for some reason in filmmaking and entertainment in general, like 
there's that mentality and I don't know where it comes from or why. I just think it's foolish and it leads to lots of heartache, lots of debt, you know, <laughs> lots of foolishness. So, I don't know, I think it's sad.